Thinking with my Mac D. You see, we different in the way we move. You move with kitten and your dog. I move with bears and bull. I got a green thought. I grow with the marijuana. Waking up with the fun. Oh, some commas. Jump out of bed, make profits. Eat my bacon and eggs, make profits. Light up, watching them candles, profits. While I'm still in my sand, making profits. They used to watch me move them packs and stop. Now I watch moves in the NASDAQ crowd. Used to run from the ATF and them cops. Now I run down ETL, make profits. I jump out of bed, make profits. Eat my bacon and eggs, make profits. Light up, watching them candles, profits. While I'm still in my sand, making profits. See, me and Jim Cramer been talking mad money. Said today I'm taking a risk. They got the feds coming, but I got support here with. I call a short squeeze. You get the drop, she pull the trick, and abort these. If she stay on my watch list, I might have to wife her. But I know better. I'm a true trading group of life. Her. Call up the wolf of weed street. It's time to flip some profits. Go ahead, be hawking. I'll flip up. Get your spot here. I'll double top that. But in the head and shoulders. Hit him up with this resistance. Watch him roll over. Cause I see John Wicks in contract. If I say I make a million a day, well, that's a large cap. You moving average, that's why you get crossed Get split, get delisted, and knocked off And I'm setting the whole block off I'm buying gang stock and selling them Roblox off I jump out of bed, make profits Eat my bacon and eggs, make profits Light up, 
watching them hand me profits While I'm still in my sand making profits They used to watch me move them packs Now I watch moves in the NASDAQ Used to run from the ATF and the cops Now I run down ET hey, my make family profits. Hey, go, what we doing, my man? Here make profits Hey, Shug, Mike, what we doing? Here make profits Yo, Wolf, Professor, what we doing? Here make profits That TTG money game Here make profits We some snipers Hey yo, what's up everybody? What's going on folks? Welcome to the True Training Group live stream. Boy, do I have a fantastic, exciting, important, educational, must-see live stream for you guys all here today. My name is Michael Edward, former award-winning hedge fund trader, now the current head trader at True Training Group. Guys, I've been doing this now for over 16 years. Began my career working at a fund in New York City. My very first job right out of college, then 2008 happened. That was the Great Recession. That was the stock market crash but also the same year that I went on to receive one of the firm's Trader of the Year awards. I'm now the head trader at True Trading Group, though, and along with my team of nine other professional trading mods and an over 20-person staff, we've helped thousands of people from all over the world, from all walks of life, learn to trade and profit consistently. TTG is now the fastest growing and highest rated premium online trading educational platform that combines university-level trading and investing courses with premium stock market tools, workshops, and mentorship on stocks, options, crypto, futures, for all styles of trading, day trading, swing trading, and yes, also long-term <clears throat> investing. At True Training Group, we take that university level of curriculum and education, we combine it with today's top financial tools that are worth well over $5,000 a year. We give you access to 10,000 of the TGG fam, 10,000 of the most educative, supportive, helpful, and successful community of traders that you will find. And of course, access to all of the real-time trade alerts from myself and the nine other professional trading mods that we have at True Trading Group that have been able to maintain a cumulative win rate of just around 80% now going on the last two years. We are a family here at True Trading Group. We leave no trader behind. If you are new to this YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you turn on your notifications. We do this six days a week. You want to also share this live stream on your own social media. We can reach out. Let's educate and empower as many retail traders as we possibly can. For all of you that are just joining us, welcome. Today's live stream here is going to be all about preparing you for what's to come this week. Do not get lulled to sleep with today's trading action in the stock market. Yes, today was a chop fest. And yes, on days like today, <clears throat> it's easy to let your guard down and to get bored, but doing so would be a huge mistake. Right now, it's truly the calm before the storm. The calm before the storm of massive volatility that is on its way this week. Before we get into why this week will have such massive volatility, I want you all to understand something. In the, I don't know, about 17 years now of my professional trading and investing career, I have never experienced a more opportunity-filled trading environment. Right now, I literally have my pick of the litter on a daily basis, thanks to the level of volatility happening right now. And the level is about to get dialed up to 100 <laughs> this week. Volatility equals opportunity. If it were not for volatility in the stock market, most of you would be bored out of your minds. Big double digit or even triple digit gains would not be possible if not for that volatility. Most of you know why volatility equals opportunity. Most of you know why volatility equals opportunity, but do you know why? Volatility is the rapid and large movement of price either to the upside or to the downside, which you can easily see at record levels all throughout 2022. This is not a normal stock market environment. This year, the stock market has actually gone up or down more than 2% in one day, more times than at any other time in history. That is the, a clear example. A greater than 2% move in the S&P in one day is a big move. You've had that occur more times this year than any other time in history. That goes to show you just how volatile this environment is and just how opportunistic this environment is. This is what I mean by it's a trading, it's a you know target rich environment. That volatility is not normal. That volatility is, and I stressed this last night, and I gave an example actually using gravity. 
I got a lot of messages from people saying that was very helpful. So I think that it actually bears repeating now. So if you heard this last night on my last night's live stream, listen to it again because it's good. All right. And that volatility is here right now and is giving myself and others a lot of opportunity. As long as you know how to trade in an up market, but more importantly, in a down market. You see, right now, more money can be made faster in this bear market. Let me explain. To explain this, I want to talk about gravity for a minute. This is the example that I, I used last night. I normally do not make assumptions, but I'm going to give everyone the benefit of the doubt and, and assume that you all know what gravity is. Yes, the force that attracts things downwards, right? Follow me here for just a moment. Most things will move down a lot faster and easier than they're going to move up. Here are some examples of things that will naturally move down in a fast, faster with less effort than they would move to the upwards. A bowling ball, uh, a rock, an airplane, the stock market. The overall stock market and stocks within them will always move down faster and easier than they're going to move up. For something to move up or defy gravity, you're going to need a force to push against gravity in order to move the object to the upside. The force that moves an object upward is created by some sort of finite resource. Here's an example. Let's take a, a rocket, a rocket ship or a military rocket. It defies gravity by exerting a force from its engines that rely on rocket fuel in order for them to work. The rocket fuel is finite, meaning it's limited. There's only so much rocket fuel that that rocket can hold at one time. Once that fuel is done, the rocket comes down a lot easier and a lot faster than it can go up. The stock market's the same thing. As it relates to the stock market, the rocket fuel, that's just the buying pressure that comes into the stock market. And when that buying is greater than the selling, which in, in this case, the selling would be gravity, the stock market moves up. But guess what? Nobody has infinite buying power. Money is finite. It takes a lot more money to move the stock market up than it does to move the stock market down. Not only do you have people selling, but you also have lack of buying because of uncertainty of what's to come. You see, even on the way down in the worst stock market crashes, you have someone that's buying and someone that is selling. Okay. This is called the bid and the ask. The bid is what someone's willing to pay. The ask is what someone wants to sell for. And the difference between them is called the spread. Everyone wants to buy low, sell high. That's the whole premise of the stock market. So it makes sense that on the way up, more people who bought lower would then try to sell and make money. And the more people who sell, the more buying that's needed in order to continue to move to the upside. So this means that more resistance to the upside and slower moves in the upward direction. That makes sense. But on the way down, people will sell a lot faster than they buy. And the bid and the ask will begin to move further apart, thus increasing the spread and increasing the volatility. This will always allow for faster moves to the downside than to the upside. However, it's also important to know that nothing moves either down, okay? Nothing moves down or up in a straight line and dips and bounces can also be extremely volatile during that time. You may, you may not know this, but the biggest stock market moves to the upside in history have occurred actually in bear markets, in down markets have had actually the biggest moves to the upside. That is volatility. This <clears throat> volatility is what makes this exciting. This is what I'm talking about on these live streams, day after day, night after night. Right now, the ability to capture big moves and to make a lot of money in a short period of time, it's here. And guess what? No, it's not normal. No, it's not going to last forever. No, it's not easy or effortless. But also, no, it's not rocket science. And yes, you can do this and you can be successful at it. How do I know that you can do this? I don't know anything about you, your life, your financial situation. How can I make a claim that I know that you guys can do this? It has to be some kind of sales tactic, right? Get you to sign up for some membership so I can make money from memberships because surely nobody can make money in this environment or become a better trader, right? When the market's going to the downside and you are be completely wrong. I'll prove that to you actually here right now for just a moment. Members, members of your training group and members only. I'm talking to you specifically. If you're a member of TTG, are you guys making money? Are you becoming better traders this year because of True Trading Group? If the answer is yes, I want you to type the dollar sign in chat right now. Again, are you making money? Are you becoming better traders this year because of TTG? If that answer is yes, I want you to type the dollar sign in chat. 
Now, anyone that's on the slideshow, I saw the member, watch the screen right here. These are not bots. These are real people, all of them. My question was very, very direct and very specific. Are you making money? Are you becoming better traders this year because of True Trading Group? You see, as you can see from these people that are typing, the answer is yes. But how can this be? They must have started with a lot of money or they must be able to give this all of their attention. There's no way you can do this or work in a full-time job or you have a busy life. They had to have some experience. No way they started knowing nothing. Something that doesn't make sense here. You're probably saying to yourself, how are these people making money this year? It's not possible. It's got to all be fake. Let me give you guys all a free life lesson real quick. The simplest answer is usually the correct one. What if I told you the real reason that you see all these people that are telling you they're making money, they're becoming better traders this year is simply for two reasons. What if it's because they joined True Trading Group and then they utilize what True Trading Group's platform offers them and they put in a little effort around their budget, on their schedule. And as a result of doing that, you're getting the answers that you all saw when I asked the question, are you making money becoming better traders this year because of TTG? Maybe it is just that simple. You see, most people though are jaded. You've been scammed by another group, taking advantage of the your need or your want to improve your financial well-being for you and your family. A lot of you have paid for another platform similar to TTG only to lose money, be lied to, or even scammed and receive no value at all whatsoever. You see, at TTG, we know that this exists. We know this happens to people, honestly, daily. Just just like you, this has happened to many people. It's exactly why we created True Training Group in the first place. I'm very proud and humble to say that we have over 10,000 members in True Trading Group. And we have spent years listening to them. And unfortunately, this is part of a lot of their stories. TG exists to empower those who seek and to empower themselves by giving them the tools, by giving them the, the resources, the education, the community that is needed to learn to trade and profit in this market. Myself and Adam, who's my business partner and co-founder of True Training Group, who actually gave one of the best live streams that we've ever done this past Friday. If you guys have not seen it yet, I still do recommend you go back and check it out when we're done here because we've dedicated our lives to helping empower others and give people the resources, the tools, the education, the community that's needed for them to empower themselves. The fact that we can make money doing that is great. And the fact that so many of our members were able to make money and improve as traders and investors is nothing short of incredible, honestly. Welcome to the live stream. And folks, we are just getting started here. This week, we actually have an insane amount of catalysts, all of which start Wednesday of this week. Wednesday of this week is when all of the chaos and all the crazy catalysts are going to start to unfold. Starting Wednesday of this week, a Category 5 storm of volatility is going to begin to enter the market, bringing massive opportunity with it. When I say this is going to be the most important week of 2022, that is not an overstatement at all. I've come on live streams before and I've told you when I think things are going to get crazy, when the markets are going to have very big moves. And I've been very specific about when those moments are and what the catalysts are that's going to do that. I'm telling you guys here again, this week, this week, not next week, this week, Wednesday, this is when everything is going to get crazy. This is when the Category four, 5 storm, it's coming. Today was choppy and a little boring, yes. But guess what? There's a good chance tomorrow could also be choppy and boring as well as everybody gets prepared for Wednesday, which is when this slew of catalysts start to unfold. This means that you have an opportunity right now to actually prepare for what is about to happen. It's just like, you know, my... You know, when, when a storm's coming, you get notified and you get to prepare, you get to batten down the hatches, you get to, you know, get the sandbags ready, you get to get the generator ready, get the gas for the generator, go fill up your gas tank. Like you got to get yourself ready. You got to get yourself prepared for that storm. Well, guess what? You have an opportunity now here this evening on this live stream and then also tomorrow to get yourself prepared for the storm of volatility that is about to come. I think this is going to be make or break for this market. That's how important I think that this week and the data that's going to be coming out, that's how important I think that it is. This means that you have an opportunity to get prepared. Not many people can say that. I spent several hours thinking about like, what are the topics? What are the lessons that I want to review on this live stream in order for people to prepare this week um, that we can cover here during the live. And we're going to be covering a couple of different things to help you guys get prepared for the volatility. I'm going to cover with you some top chart patterns. I'm going to cover with you some technical indicators and analysis and also some psychological lessons that you should carry with you 
this week. My members of True Training Group, these are some things that you can go through and recap, or maybe between today or tomorrow, these are things you can go back and you can review before this wave of volatility is about to become upon us. For my teaching sheet members, we actually made you a full cheat sheet that will be available in the room drive inside of chat right after this live stream. So right after this live stream, there's a little cheat sheet. We made it. It's going to be in the room drive inside of the main chat room. All of my members of True Training, if you guys can go get that and download that cheat sheet right from the room drive as soon as we're done with this live stream. But before I begin, I highly suggest that you guys take a minute and go get something that you can take some notes on because this live stream is going to be very important. The information, the lessons I'm going to give you for free are something that you need to pay attention to. If you have a friend that's in the markets, send them this live stream right now. Trust me, they're going to thank you for it later. But take a minute or two and go get something that you guys can all take notes on because this is going to be one of those live streams that can prepare you for what is to come. And the better prepared you are, the greater the chance you have of making money. And at the end of the day, that's why you're all here. You're on these live streams to make money, to get the skills, the analysis, the education, the resources in order for you guys to be able to profit from the environment that you see outside right now. While I do that, I want to welcome Walkeris. Walkeris. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I feel like I'm not. I apologize if I'm not. But Walkeris is the newest member of the TG family. This is perfect, actually, because I'll spend the next couple of minutes to tell you guys about the TG membership. Well, some people go grab something that you can take notes on and get ready for the lessons that I'm about to go over with you. But folks, like I said, TG exists to empower those who seek to empower themselves by giving them the tools, the resources, the education, the community that is needed to learn to trade and profit consistently. Aside from lack of value, one of the biggest issues with other trading groups is that everything always costs more. You always seem to be just a couple hundred bucks or another thousand bucks away from getting the answers that you seek or the answers that you need in order to become successful. True Trading Group is not like that. Our annual membership is all inclusive. This means there's no upsells for courses. There's no upsells for tools and resources ever. It's all included when you guys pay your yearly membership to join TTG. You pay one price, you immediately gain full access to all of our courses and all of our tools. Any new courses, any new tools that are released during your membership, you get access to that as well. There's no upsells for courses or tools ever. We're like the Netflix of trading communities. You pay the one price, you get access to everything. $5,000 worth of premium tools from companies like Benzinga, TradingView, Quote Media, Trade Ideas, and, and so much more, all accessible on your dashboard. These are not like little trials of these tools and resources. These are the full things available to you for the entire length year of your membership, not just a 30-day trial or 60-day trial. It's available to you for the entire year. If you went to these companies directly on your own, it's going to cost you about $5,000 a year. Why would you pay that? We spent years building relationships with these companies so we can put them onto the TG platform when we built it so that you guys don't have to pay extra for it. This, is, this will save you thousands of dollars from going to those companies directly. They're on the platform included with your membership when you guys join. You're also going to get real-time trade alerts from myself and the nine other professional traders that are part of the TTG family that have been able to collectively maintain about an 80% sex, uh, 80 win rate for now going on the last two years. Also getting access to the best damn community of about 10,000 traders and investors from all over the world that all share the same goal to learn, trade, and profit together. We're a family at TGD and our members are the reason why. And of course, our double your money back guarantee, which you most likely won't need, but it's real. It exists. It gives you peace of mind. More on that in a second, but we do have a double your money back guarantee. Normally, the membership to TTG is $2,212. If you went to the website just on your own, that's what the price will be. However, my business partner, Adam, actually came on the live stream on Friday and he gave everyone one hell of a weekend sale that has since expired. Okay. However, instead of going back up to our 1250 price point today and resume walking the price to 2212, I'm going to offer you guys an all inclusive annual teaching membership for 50%, which brings the price down to $1,100 right here, right now on this live stream. And I assure you that this is not going to be something that we're going to offer again, not for Black Friday, not for Thanksgiving, not for Christmas, not for New Year's. We want people that are new to sign up for True Training Group because they want a real shot at being able to do something different and better, especially during a time where there was so much fear and so much pessimism in the markets. This market and markets like it, this is literally where millionaires are made. It is where generational wealth is built, but there is so much fear and doubt that people pause. They do nothing. They hoard cash, they hunker down, they hope that they make it. 
People will make their money in a bear market. They just don't realize it at the time. This is not 2008 and you are not a bank. Therefore, no one is coming to bail you out. Like the government came to bail out the banks in 2008. You need to be proactive now, not six months from now, right now. I understand there's a lot of fear and there's a lot of self-doubt that stands in the way. We want to remove every single excuse. For those that don't understand how cheap $1,100 for the entire year is, let me actually explain this to you. That is $91.66 a month. That is $19.23 per week. That is $3.01 per day. The average person spends over $2,000 a year at Starbucks. You get access to this entire platform for just $1,100 for the entire year. Just click on the link that we're literally spamming inside of the YouTube chat right now, or you can open up a different web browser window, go to ttgoffer.com. The price is going to say 2212. You just have to manually enter the coupon code TTG121, click apply code, and that 50% discount will then will then work. Okay. Once you click apply code, the price will flash green and then it'll show 1100 Then just enter the rest of your information and check out. Again, there are no laptops for tonight. There are no Kindles. There's no limited spots. This sale simply is just going to expire at midnight and the price will then be going back up and stay there and will continue to be moved back up as we walk ourselves back to the original price of 2212. Again, I assure you this $1,100 price point will not be offered again for Black Friday, for Christmas, for Thanksgiving, for New Year's, no. But I also wanna offer something special to make this decision easy. I'm going to give anyone that signs up during this live stream a free 30 minute one-on-one -on -one with any TGD moderator of your choice, including myself. This is going to be a time for 30 minutes. You can jump on a phone call, a Zoom, a Skype, whatever it is with one of the pro trading mods at True Training Group to talk to them directly, privately, ask questions and help you get started on the right path. But this is only for those that are going to sign up during this live stream. You are not going to see that on the checkout page. Okay, we're just going to notate your account and we're going to announce your name on the live stream. Immediately, we're going to contact you to sign up to confirm that you are getting a one-on-one. -on -one. Again, there's no limited spots. Literally, if 100 people were to sign up right now, you're all going to get it. The sale expires at midnight tonight. Okay, so that $1,100 price point, that's good until midnight. If you guys want a free 30-minute one-on-one with one of the pro trading mods, you got to sign up here during this live stream before I am finished with this live stream. By the way, the price you pay today is the price you pay for life. You're locking in that rate, which is important because the price is going to be substantially higher next year. And we also have a 78% retention rate, meaning 78% of our members renew their membership after their year is up. So I'm pretty confident you're going to want to renew yours. So you might be saving 50% this year. You might be saving 65% next year by locking in that $1,100 price point. If you have any questions about this membership at all, do not hesitate. Or if you're having a problem at the checkout page, send a text message to 786-505-4049. The phone number is right at the bottom of your screen. Again, that is 786-505-4049. You have a question, send a message to that number. Don't call it. It's a text message only phone number. And I got to give a big warm welcome to Martin. Martin is the newest member of the TTG family and he and Walkeris are both going to be getting that free 30-minute one-on-one with any one of our pro trading mods for signing up during this live stream. Welcome, Martin. Guys, again, go to ttgoffer.com, manually enter the code, TTG, 121, click apply code, and then just sign up. We accept credit card, PayPal. We also accept PayPal credit. All right, we also accept PayPal credit. All right. So there you have it. So Martin and Walkeris, I really feel like I'm, I'm butchering that name. I apologize, but <laughs> you guys, welcome to the family. You guys are going to be getting that 30 minute uh, free one on one. All right, guys. So let's roll things on over now. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to pull up my charts and I want to get into a lot of the, the different lessons that I want to cover with you guys here today to make sure that you guys can be prepared. Uh, I want to make sure you guys are prepared for what is is to come. So there's a couple of different lessons that I want to go over with you that can help you um, during these moments of of intense volatility. Okay. So what I want to hit on here first, we're going to go over um, some technical indicators, a refresh around some technical indicators and some analysis and some lessons there that can help you guys kind of slow down that volatility on your charts and be able to identify some really good trade setups and some entry points. 
And I'm also going to cover with you guys some common chart patterns, some common chart patterns that you guys can all take a look at and you can do a refresher on so that if you are prepared, if you see them later this week when all this economic data comes out and that volatility starts to increase. Then there's going to be some trader psychology lessons that I think are going to be important for all of you that we're going to, you know, try to be trading through the greatest trading environment that I've literally ever seen. I want to make sure you guys are always fully prepared. And we're going to touch on some of those trader psychology lessons as well. All right. So with that now being said, let's take things on over to the charts. And there's a couple of different um, couple of different indicators that I really want to cover with you. Okay. The first indicator that I'm going to want to cover with you guys is going to be something that I call the, not that I call it, but it is referred to as the trade line. Okay. Something that is referred to as the trade line. The trade line is the nine exponential moving average. It can also be used as the eight, the 10, the 11, the 12. It is really just a personal preference, but anybody, Anybody could, you know, it's really personal preference. You can use the 8 EMA, 9 EMA, 10 EMA, 11 EMA, 12 EMA. They are all very, 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 very similar. EMA stands for exponential moving average. For those of you that are brand new, you will have exponential moving average, or it'll just say EMA on your charting software, okay, depending on what charting software that you guys use. We have a charting software from TradingView, their premium software. It's totally free. It's included rather with your membership when you join TTG for that 1100. It includes um, the TradingView's premium charting software. So you can use that. You're more than welcome to. But if you have another charting software, it's going to be the exponential moving average. And I use the nine exponential moving average. Again, I'm showing you this so that you can see what I suggest reviewing before Wednesday of this week. Because by Wednesday of this week, that is when I expect a tsunami of volatility. We got to welcome Christine. Christine's the newest member of the group. Welcome, Christine. Newest member of our group, guys. Welcome, Christine. Guys, again, go to ttgoffer.com. Enter the coupon code TTG121. Click apply code. That price drops to 1100 bucks. That's it for the whole year. And you'll get, if you sign up during this live stream, you're getting a 30-minute one-on-one with one of our pro trading moderators. You guys can ask any questions that you wish. So Christine, Martin, and Walchris, welcome to the family. You guys are getting that free 30-minute one-on-one. For the rest of you, the $1,100 price point, that's good until midnight, but the free 30-minute one-on-one is only available until this live stream is finished. So do not hesitate, guys. Take advantage. Jump on this offer while it's still here. And again, if you have questions, 786-505-4049. If you have any questions at all about this membership. So let's talk about the trade line, right? The nine exponential moving average. Let's talk about the trade line. The trade line is a momentum indicator. Okay. Now on my screen, as you guys all see here, the trade line is this teal sea green kind of baby blue line that you guys see on my screen. Okay. Again, I use the nine exponential moving average. You can use the eight, 10, 11, or 12 as well. I use the nine. It's a momentum based indicator. This, this indicator should not be used during moments of consolidation. It is a momentum based indicator. When a stock experiences a clear, definitive, decisive, directional momentum based move, the trade line will tend to act as either a level of support or level of resistance in the direction in which the stock is currently experiencing the momentum. I have on my screen right now a chart of Snowflake, ticker symbol S-N-O-W. You can see very clearly the stock made a very clear, definitive, decisive move to the downside today. There was no real consolidation. There was no real choppiness on Snowflake. This stock opened up and it just dropped. Okay, opened up and it dropped. And what I want you to notice is while the stock was experiencing the definitive, decisive momentum-based move to the downside, you see how this little teal line on my screen acted as a level of resistance, where every single time the stock bounced into that level, it acted as resistance. It bounced into that level, it acted as resistance. It bounces into that level, it acts as resistance. It bounces into that level, it just continues to act as a level of resistance until the momentum to the downside pauses. And once the momentum to the downside 
pauses, you'll see that it starts to lose its relevance and starts to lose its significance. But you guys can see clear as clear could possibly be as the momentum is taking the stock to the downside, you just see all of this resistance off of this trade line. Again, this is a momentum based indicator, which is called the trade line. This is one indicator that you must be aware of from an intraday perspective for what is about to unfold on Wednesday and Thursday of this week. You're going to get catalysts this week that are going to move this market. Catalysts this week that are going to give you directional based momentum. So you need to understand where and how can you identify the directional based momentum and what indicators can you use to, to slow down that momentum and identify that momentum. So you know where you can enter a position. And also maybe even more importantly, you know where to set your stop loss on the position. We got to welcome Kevin though. Kevin's the newest member. Kevin's like the hell with this. I'm not going through that volatility by myself. I want to take advantage of these opportunities. Let's learn about that trade line, Kevin. Welcome to the family. Guys, again, TTG, offer.com. TTG, 121 coupon code. Go there. Click apply code. Price is going to flash green. It'll drop to 1100. That's a 50% discount off the 2212. And if you join during this live stream, you're getting a free 30 minute one-on-one -on -one with one of our pro trading mods at TTG. You're not going to see the one-on-one -on, -one on the checkout page, guys. That's just something that I'm offering to people that are on this live stream here now. It's not going to say it on the checkout page, but we will notate your account. And once you sign up, we will immediately contact you to confirm that you're getting the 30 minute one-on-one. -on -one. You're not going to see it on the checkout page. Okay. On the checkout page though, you're going to see everything else that's included for that 1100 bucks. And if you have any questions, again, don't hesitate. Send a text to 786-505-4049. And that's how you guys um, if any questions, we'll be able to help you out in any way that we can. We're a full open book. Don't be shy. Don't hesitate. If you have any questions about me, about True Training Group, about the platform, about anything, send us a text message. And don't forget, we got that double your money back guarantee that I don't think you guys are going to need, but it's there for peace of mind. All right? So it's 1100 bucks, guys. And like I said, we do have PayPal credit. And then we also obviously take credit card and, and then PayPal as well. All right. So back to Snowflake, back to the exponential moving average, which is just called simply the trade line. That's what we call it, the trade line. All right. This is an example where you don't want to lean on this indicator for too long. You want to just ride the wave of momentum, which will typically last when you get a really big directional based move. This move can maybe last two hours, two and a half hours. And when you get yourself into a position like that and you see that trade line acting as resistance, just continue to ride the move to the downside. Ride it, ride it, ride it until it breaks back above that indicator or below if you're long. So if you're short, you ride it to the downside. If it breaks above it, then you can stop out and cover your position. If, it, if you're long to the upside and you're riding that momentum indicator and it breaks underneath it, then you can stop out and you guys can look at it that way. And you can use that as an indication to say, okay, momentum has paused. Now, just because momentum pauses doesn't mean that it won't continue in that direction later. But for that moment, you're going to catch the bulk of that move. Okay. You will catch the bulk of that move if you ride that trade line, because then you'll notice that once the momentum stops, you see how once the momentum stops and the stock stops going to the downside and it starts trading sideways, right? See now all of a sudden the momentum downside has stopped, but look at the baby blue line on your screen. Now, look, it's not doing anything. The stock, we broke above the line, then we broke beneath it, then back above it, then back beneath it, then back above it, then back beneath it. Now it's like, it's not even there. That, that, that moving average has no relevance whatsoever in the stock, the stock's price action at all. But when you look back here, right? You look back here, it's like every single time, resistance, 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 until the downward momentum stopped. And then you can just set your stop loss and then say, okay, and then stop out of your position right there after that trend line or after that moving average breaks to the upside. And that's how you guys can use the nine exponential moving average, which we call the trade line. And that's how you can use that to your advantage to identify the directional momentum, which I think is going to be massive Wednesday and Thursday of this week as all of this catalyst starts to unfold. Okay. So there is your trade line 
indicator that you're nine exponential moving average. All right. Very, very important indicator. My members of True Training Group, like I said, we gave you guys a cheat sheet on what to review to be prepared for what is going to be the most important, crucial week of the entire year. That's this week. And this is a three minute chart that I have on my screen, but you can use the trade line on multiple time frames. It works on a three minute, works on a five minute, works on a 15 minute. You guys can use this trade line on multiple time frames. The example I'm showing you here is just a three minute chart because I really want to show you the momentum and I really want to show you how well that indicator can really just stick and act as resistance in this case or act as support on the way to the upside. So the, I'm using a three minute chart here, but it also works in a five minute, a 15 minute, still holds true to the directional momentum. Okay. Check it out. Use it. Members review the courses on the trade line. So you can use that to your advantage this week. Next um, that I wanted to talk about next indicator that I did want to talk about is Fibonacci retracement levels. The reason why I want to talk about Fibonacci retracement levels is because so many people use them incorrectly. So many people use them incorrectly. All right. We got to welcome Jay. Jay is the newest member of the group. Everybody welcome Jay. What's up, Jay? Welcome to the family, guys. That's it. TTGoffer.com. That's all you've got to do. Go there now. Use the coupon code TTG121. Click apply code. The price will flash green. It'll drop to 1100. That's a 50% discount. And then if you sign up on the live stream like Jay did, like Kevin did, like Christine did, like Martin, like Walkeris, you guys will get a free 30-minute one-on-one mentor session with one of our mods, but that's only good as long as we are on this live stream. And the $1,100 price point, that's good up until midnight tonight. So take advantage of it, folks, because that price is going to continue to be walked up as we get back to $1,250 and then eventually walk ourselves back up to the $2,212 original price of the TC platform. You guys can grab it right now for just $1,100. All right. So Jay, welcome to the family. All right, so let's go over now Fibonacci retracement levels. I want to cover Fibonacci retracement levels with people because, like I said, a lot of people, um, a lot of people use Fibonacci retracement levels incorrectly. Okay, so the way that you want to use Fibonacci retracement levels, okay, is going to be if you have a, uh, you can use Fibonacci retracement levels in multiple ways. Okay, multiple ways for you to use Fibonacci retracement levels. You can use them as resistance. You can also use them as support. You can use them both ways. Now, if you're going to use Fibonacci retracement levels as support, meaning the Fibonacci level is going to measure pullbacks. If you use it as resistance, the Fibonacci retracement levels are going to measure bounces. So if you're using it as support, to measure pullbacks because you're trying to go long. Listen to me carefully. You will anchor your Fibonacci retracement level from either the low of the day or the prior day's close, whichever price is lower. That is where you're going to anchor your Fibonacci retracement level. And then you will simply draw the Fibonacci retracement level up to the current high of the day. Let's use a couple of examples. Uh, Charon, welcome to the TTG family. Welcome, everybody welcome your newest member of the family. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Do you have any laptops today? No, we do not. No laptops today. We have not had laptops in quite a while. No laptops today. But instead, anyone that joins during this live stream, you will be getting a free 30-minute one-on-one mentor session with one of the TTG Pro Trading Mods that is only for people that is only for people that sign up during this live stream. I also saw that you tried signing up. Um, Laura or Eora, you see that you tried signing up. Okay. If you are not signing up because of the laptop, then don't. Honestly, um, just don't sign up at all. If you're, if you don't sign up because we don't have a laptop, um, 
you know, you got to think about what you're actually signing up, why you're signing up that you're training. We haven't had a laptop in a while. I don't have any idea when we're going to get more laptops, but instead you guys can get a 50% discount here today. The price drops to 1100 bucks and you get a free 30 minute one-on-one -on -one mentor session with one of our pro trading mods. Okay. And if anybody has any questions about the membership at all, 786-505-4049. Again, guys, that phone number is 786-505-4049. All right. Okay. So let's just use, um, let's just use this chart of the spy as an example. This is October 3rd. Okay. Let's just use October 3rd as an example. Okay. So let's use last Monday, October 3rd. Remember Friday, okay, September 30th um, is when the markets really, um, you had this, you know, big sell-off day here into the close. And then on Monday, you had this gap up, right? You had this gap up. So in this case, if you, if you woke up and this is what the, and this is what the chart looked like, okay, because here's the close and then here you gapped up on Monday. So how would you draw your Fibonacci retracement levels in this example? You would anchor your Fibonacci level at either the prior day's close or the current low of the day, whichever price is lower. Well, in this example, what would the low of the day be? The low of the day is all the way up here at $360.50. The closing price is all the way down here at $357 and change. So the closing price is lower. So we anchor our Fibonacci at, yesterday, at the prior day's close and we pull it all the way up to the current high of the day. And then you'll start to see that our Fibonacci retracement um, tool starts to plot your Fibonacci retracement levels. And here they are. These are the most common Fibonacci retracements, the 23.6 Fib, the 38.2 Fib, the 50 Fib, and the 61.8. And these are your potential pullback support levels. And as the stock market experiences a bit of a pullback, what you start to see happen is look at where we found support. Looky, looky, bang, the 50 Fibonacci retracement level holds support beautifully on this pullback, right down into the 50 fib, you get a nice little tail off that level and then an engulfing green candle. And that could potentially give you guys longs looking for moves on the SPY as you then start to get yourself that move to the upside. But now what happens? Now the SPY just made a brand new high of the day. Once a new high is made, you need to move your Fibonacci retracement levels. You leave the anchor, the anchor stays put, but now there's a new high of the day. So you need to move your Fibonacci retracement level, okay? And you can see we'll move it all the way up to the high of the day. And now here are your new Fibonacci retracement levels. You can see how these levels are now plotted in different price points now, right? Now see how all these different levels have now moved as you make a new high, you need to adjust the Fibonacci retracement levels. Everybody welcome Eric. Eric, welcome to the TTG family. Eric is the newest member of the group, guys. We got to welcome Eric. Guys, remember, go to ttgoffer.com. You click that coupon, you uh, type the coupon code TTG121, click apply code, and that price will adjust. It'll drop to 1100 bucks. It'll drop all the way down to 1100 bucks. You got to welcome Eric. Guys, forget about the laptops. I'm going to show you how to buy as many laptops as you possibly want. All right. Instead of laptops, I'm going to give you guys, show you how to buy as many laptops as you possibly want. All right. So now that's how you adjust your Fibonacci retracement levels. And then you can see that, what do we have here? Well, now there's your 23.6 Fibonacci retracement level. And you can notice, look at that beautiful level of support on the 23.6 Fib. And then also lines up with your VWAP indicator. And then that actually gives you a move to fresh new highs of the day. And that, my friends, is how you would use the Fibonacci retracement level to your favor. Okay. So let's go back and let's just kind of do a quick little recap. Again, you have your gap up, right? You have your gap up. What's the lower price, the low of the day or the prior day's close, the prior day's close. So we're going to anchor the Fib there. We're going to draw it up to the high of the day. And there are my Fibonacci retracement levels. And we pull back, we pull back. And all of a sudden you get a beautiful, you know, little hammer tail down there at the 50 Fibonacci level, a nice engulfing candle that gives you the possible long entry to get long. And then there's your long entry. And then the stock makes a new high and you just ride that wave of momentum 
ride that wave of momentum, right? We talked about what the, the, the trade line, right? You ride that wave of momentum when you're getting a clear, definitive, decisive move to the upside. And then that momentum starts to fade. And then that is your new high of the day. So now what do we have to do if there's a new high of the day? We have to, we have to redraw the Fibonacci level up to the high of the day. And that becomes your new Fibonacci levels. And then you see support, support, support. One, two, three, support at the 23.6 Fibonacci level. And then you got brand new fresh sets and highs. Okay. That, my friends, is how you can use the Fibonacci retracement level to the upside looking for support levels, right? That's how you can use it to the upside looking for support levels, All right? Let's use another example here and let's see um, if these start to work themselves, if these work themselves out. We got to welcome Bruce. Bruce is the newest member of the group. Welcome, Bruce. Welcome to the family. Everybody welcome Bruce. Bruce is the newest member of the group. Everybody welcome Bruce. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Guys, remember, just go to ttgoffer.com. If you want the free 30-minute one-on-one with any one of our pro traders, you guys literally just have to go to ttgoffer.com, enter the coupon code TTG121. Click apply code. And you guys are going to be good to go. All right. You have any questions? You send a text message to 786-505-4049. Remember that $1,100 price point, that is good up until midnight tonight. But the free 30-minute one-on-one is only for people that join during this live stream. Now, let's talk about using Fibonacci retracement levels to the downside when you're trying to measure bounces. Now, this is going to be the opposite. So remember how if you're looking for longs, you, you anchor your FIB at the low of the day or the prior day's close, whichever price is lower. In this case, you anchor your Fibonacci to the high of the day or the prior day's close, whichever price is higher, right? So the exact opposite from what we just did when you're looking for support, we're going to use this the opposite way to do it as resistance. So the high of the day, let's use Tesla as an example. This is Tesla from October 7th. The high of the day is $234.57. The close is $238.19. So the closing price is higher than the high of the day. So we anchor at the closing price. And then you draw down to the low of the day. Okay, so this is what Tesla looked like on that morning. Right. So your high of the your previous day's close is higher than the current high of the day. So you anchor at the previous day's close and you connect it down to the low of the day. What do you start to notice is as Tesla begins trading, you can see there's resistance at the 50 Fibonacci level. There's resistance at the 50 Fibonacci level. Right. You see resistance and resistance on this tail at the 50 Fibonacci level. And then here comes that trade line. Here comes that trade line that we talked about on the previous lesson, acts as resistance. And then look at the momentum move that you get to the downside as that momentum indicator works itself into play. Look at this. We'll see how this momentum indicator works itself into play as you're getting that clear, definitive directional move to the downside. You see how that comes into play. But then once you break the low of the day, just like you did with the other example, you need to readjust your level and you readjust your level and you draw down to the new low of the day right now there's a new low of the day you have to adjust it from that low of the day to the new low of the day and as you keep working yourself through up another new low of the day you got to move that level all the way down and your fibonacci levels will adjust throughout the session we got to welcome greg greg is the newest member of the group everybody welcome greg we got a lot of new people joining the family tonight I love to see it. A lot of people that are getting ready, that are getting prepared for what is going to be, I think, one of the most volatile, action-packed, crucial, most important weeks of the entire year. All right, so everybody, welcome Greg. Remember, guys, that $1,100 price point is good only up until midnight tonight. 
right? It's good only up until midnight tonight. All right. So there you have it, folks. That is how you would use your Fibonacci retracement levels, not just for support to the upside, but also resistance to the downside. So a couple of key important lessons on some key indicators that you guys can use, okay, that you guys can use going into the end of this week, what I think is going to be the most volatile session that we've probably seen. Guys, honestly, there's so many people that are joining the family right now. I mean, it's just, you know, listen, we have 10,000 members in True Training Group. People are making money. It's a community of people who give a damn about everyone's success. The secret is out. Honestly, the secret about the TG platform is out. With 10,000 members from all over the world, we have members literally from all corners of the globe. The secret is out. It's all about the community. It's all about the platform. It's all about the tools and the resources. That is what makes the difference. And you're seeing all these people that are taking advantage of the offer that we have for you guys here now today. I'm happy to see it. I'm happy to see you guys get, get ready. I'm happy to see you guys getting ready for the rest of this week. I really am. Remember, members, we got a cheat sheet. It's going to be loaded up in the room drive inside the main chat room on what I think you should review to get yourself ready and get yourself prepared for later this week. All right, guys, let's roll into now. Let's talk about a couple of chart patterns, a couple of different chart patterns that I want you guys to kind of get yourselves um, re-familiarize re yourself with. I think there's some chart patterns that I think we might see um, that I think we might see going into a lot of these catalysts this week. And some of those chart patterns are going to be, you know, some, some basic ones, some very common ones, which is going to be bull flag, bear flag, and double bottom, double top. And I think these are some of the, the chart patterns I think you need to just kind of review to get yourself ready for the momentum. Because based on what I think the markets are going to do and based on how volatile I think they're going to be, um, I think these are chart patterns that we're probably going to see between Wednesday and Thursday. And I want to make sure that we do a quick refresher on them to make sure that you are, are prepared for them. Um, you're prepared for those chart patterns if and when we do uh, if and when we do see them. All right, so real quick, let's just get into these are some, you know, some of the basic the, the some of the basic chart patterns um, that I did want to cover um, with you guys. And one of them is going to be the typical bull flag. I want to go over with you a bull flag. I'm just going to use tops as an example. This was actually one of the bigger, one, you know, a monster trade that we had in True Trading Group last week was tops. Um, you know, my biggest trade of the week actually was this tops trade. We absolutely crushed this trade inside of chat. If you guys caught that live stream, I kind of went over this. But I want to go over with you the bull flag. And this is also same for the bear flag because these are continuation um, chart patterns. And I think that... I think you're going to get so much momentum and so much direction um, into the end of this week that you're going to get a lot of continuation patterns that are going to form. And bear flags and bull flags are the most common continuation patterns that you can find. A bull flag is basically going to give you a you know direct, a strong directional move to the upside, um, and then you're going to consolidate, and then you continue that strong directional move to the upside. So it's going to start with a move to the upside. Okay, that's going to start what is called the flagpole of your um, of the flag, the bull flag setup, and then you're going to experience a consolidation, and that consolidation is going to be filled with lower highs and higher lows. And inside of that consolidation, the most important part that I want to go over with you is when the flagpole itself is created of a bull flag. This is why it's called a bull flag because it literally looks like a flag on a flagpole. Okay. But when the, when the pole itself, when the flag pole is created, that's going to be the initial move to the upside. When that is created, you want to see heavy volume in the, in the pole, heavy volume inside the flag pole. Then when you get the sideways consolidation inside of the flag with the lower highs and the higher lows coming to what is called an inflection point, there's your inflection point where the support level and the resistance level meet you want to see volume be significantly lighter inside of that consolidation than it was during the flagpole's creation. 
That is a very important factor of a high quality bull flag. Very important factor. Okay. High volume on the flagpole, low volume on the consolidation flag. And then when you break out of the flag, there's your break out of the flag. You once again want to start to see an increase in volume. Now you'll start to see as soon as you broke out of the flag, before you got the breakout and follow through, look, as soon as you broke out of the flag, notice how you have the ink. Let me make the volume bars bigger so you can see it. That message is, is in the way. On the, There we go. Thanks. Um, so you can see here, heavy volume on the way up, low volume inside of the flag, high volume on the break out of it. That is a textbook bull flag. I want you to remember this because I have a feeling that we are going to get a high volume move, a consolidation with a high volume continuation move. Once you guys get all these catalysts that are going to come out here end of the week. And then once you get that high volume break out of the flag, that's your confirmation. You're good to go. And you get this massive move to the upside. Look at that beautiful follow through to the upside. And that could have given you guys some serious money making opportunities, just like it did for us. This is the exact trade that we actually caught last week on October 5th. This was actually my biggest trade of the week last week was this tops trade was good for about a 43 or 50% gain from our entry to our final take profit it was an absolute monster. And it was right off of that bull flag setup. And I want that to be something that you guys pay very close attention to next up is going to be L oh, and that's a bull flag, but the same thing, a bear flag, it goes both ways, right? The bear flag is exactly the same thing. What I just showed you, but just flip it upside down and that'll be continuation to the downside versus the bull flag continuation to the upside. Next chart pattern that I want to point out to you guys is going to be a double top, a double top. The reason why I want to point out to you a double top or double bottom, it's going to be the same thing, just reversed, okay, is because depending on where the markets are sitting, when these economic data, data figures come out, you may get tests of major support and resistance levels that could alter the direction of the market as soon as the numbers come out. And that's where the double top and the double bottom could potentially come into play towards the end of this week. Double top, I want to use PEGI as an example, this ticker symbol P-E-G-Y. Now, this is a stock that is actually on my watch list for a potential short squeeze tomorrow. Okay, so PEGI is going to be on our watch list for a potential short squeeze tomorrow. But what I want to point out to you just for the lesson of the double top, because there's a double top on the stock today, and I want to point this out to you, but if, you know, I actually think that this has a chance to squeeze. So it's on my watch list for tomorrow to actually get through this level. But for the sake of just showing you double tops, I want to go over this as an example. Very clear resistance level here at $4.80. Now, $4.80, why is it a clear level of resistance? Well, previously, as we look back to the left, it was a level of support back there in April. And then once we broke underneath it, it then became a level of resistance in April. We tested that level again in August and it became a level of resistance. And then we tested that level two days ago, and then it was, again, a level of resistance. You guys can see here this, this resistance level at $4.80, but this time it's different. Why is it different? Because this time this yellow line um, is coming into play. So see this yellow line comes into play here, and that's the 200-day moving average. That's adding to the level of resistance that you have at 480. Well, guess what? We ran right up to that level here today intraday. And here's that level, right? I haven't changed this line. This is the same line that I have drawn on the daily chart. And you'll see there was the test of that, that level $4.80 two days ago. And then we ran right up to that level today and we got punched right in the face. And you can see the stock ended up pulling back to the downside, pulling away from that level to create a very strong double top. Be mindful of major support and major resistance levels on the SPY when you're going to come through this moment of volatility because you may have double tops or double bottoms get put in when you test some major levels on the spy and that's just going to show you that's an example of a double top and like i said the same thing holds true for double bottoms it's just to the opposite um it's just in the opposite direction okay so instead of the double top it'll be a double bottom right and you'll find support at the double bottom you find resistance at the double top Okay, so there you guys have it. All right, so there you guys have it. So those are some a couple of key chart patterns that I want you to refresh and, and make sure that you're well aware of. 
There's some key technical indicators that we talked about. Now I want to hit on a couple of important psychological lessons that can help you guys deal with the level of volatility. Okay. The level of volatility that um, we're going to have here going into the end of the week. Okay. But first, let's break down what happened in the spy today. All right, let's break down what happened in the spy today before I get into the psychological lessons. Um, just a very choppy day in the markets today, guys. You can see not not really much, um, not much happened here today. You can see the markets just basically, um, you know, we basically, for, for the majority of the day, we basically just kind of went sideways, right? It was slightly to the downside, but, um, you know, sideways, slightly to the downside. So the overall weakness in the market still there. It's a red day, but not a big red day. You continued lower. You broke below um, Friday's low. You broke below Friday's low, but you did not break below the low of the year. The low of the year, okay, is actually this 357 level, and that we actually held above for the time being. So today we did actually test and hold that level of 357. So you have a bit of a double bottom forming actually right here. So this is actually an example. We just talked about double tops. This is an example of a double bottom. So here's that 357 level, right? That was your, your lows from um, September. And then you got down to that level today. And you'll notice on the SPY, we got down to that level. And then what happened when we got down to that level? Well, look, it became a level of support and the market bounced off that level. And we moved to the upside. This is what I'm talking about, about how I want you to pay attention to these key support and resistance levels. This being one of them, 357 is going to be a big level for the SPY. That's the low of the year. And you have a double bottom that was put in place here today. The double bottom would be confirmed if tomorrow we got back over 365. That would confirm the double bottom. And that becomes a very important level that you want to be able to look at and focus on. Um, uh, that you want to look at and focus on. Um, once you get all of these catalysts that are going to start to come out. Okay. So that's an example of a double bottom, just like we had the example of a double top. Okay. Get it. Got it. Perfect. You know what guys, honestly, honestly, on second thought, I think the best thing is to review, um, the trader psychology lessons tomorrow. I think it'll be better for us if today we just focused on the chart patterns and the technical indicators, right? We talked about a, a nice key support level there on the SPY. You guys have a better understanding of how to use the trade line, how to use Fibonacci levels, what things to look for, for double tops and double bottoms. And that can kind of get you guys ready and prepared. And then I think tomorrow night, We'll go over some cycle, uh, some trader psychology lessons, and tomorrow night's live stream will be all about trader psychology and some lessons that you can you can take with you for Wednesday because Wednesday is when the volatility is going to start. You're going to get PPI data, that's inflation data. You're going to also get the Fed minutes; those are literally the notes that from the Fed meeting. Then on Thursday, you're going to get the CPI data, that's inflation, and then you're going to also be getting continuing jobless claims, initial jobless claims, that's the labor market. So these pieces of data are going to move this market around a lot. So I want to make sure that you guys have some psychological lessons that you can be, um, that can help you through and give you the best chances to profit from all this volatility. What's up, Adam? Yeah. You know, so I, I was thinking, um, you know, because, because we're going to go ahead and, um, you know, because this is such a big week right why don't we do this and i know that you and i did not talk about this and i know that you hate when i do this um why don't we go ahead and let's let the price not go up tonight at midnight let's let it stay in place until tomorrow night at midnight for the 1100 yeah okay i'm fine with that i think that that's i think that that's better i don't i don't think that you should be giving out one-on-ones beyond that um yeah, yeah, I but agree. i but i but i do think that the 1100 price point should stay in in place um you know for tonight and tomorrow night and then what's today monday and then on on tuesday night at midnight which is really wednesday morning or whatever um it can go up then 
Yeah, I'm fine with that. Yeah, that's about give everybody a chance to get in at the lower price before you know all these crazy catalysts. I'm telling you guys, I think that these these the economic data points that come out Wednesday and Thursday, I think are going to tell you you know what what this market's going to do for the entire rest of the year. I think it's really going to. I think that it's that important. I think Wednesday and Thursday is that important that you're going to know what the markets. I'm going to be confident what the market's going to do for the rest of the year based on what happens Wednesday and Thursday. So like everyone wants to, Mike, what do you think the market's going to do, you know, the rest of the year? I'll tell you after Wednesday and Thursday. That's how important I think that those days are. So I want to make sure you guys are fully prepared for it, which is why we're doing these kind of like preparation live streams. Like, okay, today we talked about technicals, indicators, chart patterns. Tomorrow is going to be all about psycholo uh, psychology. And I want you guys to be prepared for this because that's how important I think that it actually is. We got to welcome Laura. Laura's the newest member of the group. Guys, again, ttgoffer.com. You just click, you enter the coupon code TTG121, click apply code, the price will flash green. It'll then show 1100 and you guys will be good to go, right? You guys will be good to go. If you sign up during this live stream, you're getting the free 30 minute one-on-one. -on -one, and then you have until Tuesday at midnight to get the $1,100 price point before we move it back to 1250 and then we walk it back to the 2212. But I want to make sure you guys are fully prepared. I want to make sure that those of you that want the platform, that want to be part of the family to go into yeah. this environment and take advantage of these opportunities, you have the chance to do so. Yeah. And I'm glad Laura signed up and, and didn't wait for a laptop. I think that. Yes. That's Likewise. Me too. Yeah, guys, I, I don't know when we're going to be getting more of these laptops. It's become very difficult, but uh, we haven't had them now for a little while uh, and we don't have, there's no signs of us getting more. Um, so it's more important that you are, you're with us, you know, Wednesday and Thursday than it is to you just try to sit there and wait for a laptop. I feel like we should do something cool and fun this week. Like, right. uh, like, uh, like if, if CPI comes in at a, at a good price or not good price at a, at a good, uh, at a good number, mm -hmm. I, I feel like we, sh you know, in the markets, you know, go bat poop crazy. Mm -hmm. I feel like we should talk and maybe do something cool. I'm, I'm, I'm down. Yeah. Let's, 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 let's put our minds together and we'll, we'll try to figure out if we can come up with something. Yeah. Yeah. Like All right, yeah. I don't know what yet guys, but Adam and I are going to think of something cool. Yeah. If, if, um, what did you say inflation you thought inflation was going to come in at? Um, just, it's just, just your best guess. I understand. Seven, nine. Seven, nine. Seven, nine. Okay. Um, damn, I feel like that's you being very conservative too. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, do you actually think it's going to be seven, nine? Or like, you think that that's because I've, I've heard you, I've heard you mention, um, that you feel that it's, you, you know, that the expectation number that's being put out, not by you, but you know, online is, um, purposefully, uh, high. purposefully high. Yeah. I do kind of feel like it was put out purposefully high because they've been so wrong. Um, you know, the expectation for August CPI was 8.0 and it came in at 8.3. Now the expectation last week, the expectation was 8.2 for your September CPI. I think now I'm seeing some people are at 8.1, some people are at 8.2. So your expectations are now higher than they were for the month of August. I feel like, uh, I feel like they're purposefully high so that the number can come in at like 7.9 and be like under expectations. Yeah. <laughs> like, I feel like the, I feel like the, the, the analysts are, are purposefully and conservatively high on their, on their estimates for the CPI number. I feel like, I feel like maybe we should do something to where if it, if it comes in at seven, between 7.9, 7.8, 7.7, and then we can have like a hail Mary. Like if it comes in at, at like 7.5, do you think if it comes in at 7.5, there's a shot in heck that Jerome Powell's doing 75 basis points? I would there would still be a chance if the labor market still was was it was as strong as it was, but I think the chances of him doing 50 would greatly go up. Right now, there's like a 94% likelihood 
or a 92% likelihood that they're doing 75 basis points. Yeah. So, but if, if like, if CPI came in, let's say like 7.5, then the likelihood of the, of the 75 basis points probably drops into like the sixties and the markets would move higher on the back of that. The market wants the fed to slow down. They don't necessarily need the fed to stop. I don't think you want the fed to stop. I don't want them to stop. I don't think they should stop, but I think they should slow down. I think their foot is too heavily on the gas. Um, and I just think they need to slow down a little. They're in seventh gear. They need to drop it down to third or fourth. They're going 120. They got to bring it down to 65 um, and just chill out for a little bit. Um, and if you get like a 7.5 or a 7.6, that is what the Fed is going to want to see, specifically in the core number. If the core number is actually negative, that's what the Fed wants to see. If you have core inflation negative month over month, that's what the Fed wants to see, and that'll give them the, the the opportunity to say and to justify a 50 basis point hike in November instead of what, the, what is the expectation now of a 75. And what is the actual chance of that happening, though? I don't feel like that's a very good chance. I mean, a good what? what what's the likelihood of the CPI number coming in light, or what's the chance that they or do coming in it? negative? Um, I would say it's not the likely scenario. I wouldn't right. say it's a greater than 50% chance, but it is still, there is still a chance. It is still possible. Um, I wouldn't say it's impossible, but I wouldn't say it's likely. It's just the, the, these, these inflation numbers have been nuts. You know, analysts have gotten them so insanely wrong. It's just crazy. Yeah. You know? They've gotten it. They've gotten it. So and you're talking about the greatest analysts that Wall Street has to offer people that have been doing this for 30, 40 years. And they're, they're not even close. You know, they're just not even close with these, these expectation numbers. I think, you know, the June number was 9.1. I think the expectation was like 8.7. And then the expectation was like 8.8 .8 for July. It came in at 8.5. Then the expectation was 8.0 for August. It came in at 8.3. Now the expectations like 8.1 or 8.2, whatever it is. I mean, it's just, you know, these, they're just, they're just not, they're not close. <laughs> they're not, you know, they're missing. Listen, to miss by like a 10th, that's one thing, right? If it's like, oh, we, we expect 8.2, it comes in 8.3. But they're missing by three, four, five tenths of a point. I mean, these are big, big misses. It's like, it's, it's, a, it's a total guessing game. And anybody that comes out there, and, it, and tries to like stamp like a claim of like, this is what inflation is going to be. You're so full of crap. Like you, there's no way that anyone can come out here that's been doing this for two years or three years and be like, oh, I know what the inflation number is going to be. No, you don't because people that have been doing this for 40 years. Don't yeah, I get that. What if we go 50 basis points in November? Does it go parabolic? Yeah, I mean, it doesn't go parabolic, but we move to the upside if they give us 50 basis points. Yeah. That'll definitely be a move to the If we outside. do 75 basis points, is your theory of uh, uh, Santa Claus rally, is that done at that point? Um, no, no, it's not done. because it's just, not, it's just not the likely scenario? or No, I actually think the further that we go down now, the more likely the Santa Claus rally is. Santa Claus rally, this is what people, I feel like a lot of people don't know what a Santa Claus rally actually is. Or Does it, I mean, is it only going it, to, it's got to take place in December because of. Yes. Yes. Okay. Santa Claus, Christmas. <laughs> That's the whole. So the Santa Claus rally typically happens around from right around Thanksgiving up through until New Year's. And that's going to be that's going to be your Santa Claus. That's going to be your Santa Claus rally. Um, it's Wait, typically really? like a good time of the year. People are, you know, it's people are happy. They're feeling good. It's the holidays. You know, consumers are spending. But you got to see what happens this year. You know, with inflation, maybe consumers don't spend as much as they have been because of inflation. Who knows? I also think that you're going to have a unique situation here this holiday season because so far you've gotten a lot of companies, a lot of retailers specifically that have come out and they have told you that they have major inventory problems. Like look at what happened with Nike. Nike's inventory went up like 65%. That means that Nike is going to have to discount a lot of that merchandise. And what's the best time to discount merchandise for the holidays? So I think you're going to get a lot of discounting on inventory from a lot of different companies to kind of get rid of that inventory backlog in this in the in the 
the holiday season. That's not good for companies because they're marking down their inventory and, and making less margin on their product, therefore less earnings and less profit and cash flow for them. But it's good for the consumer that is that is being tested with high gas prices, high everything, high food prices, high everything prices. And if you can say, oh, wow, I'm getting, uh, you know, wow, look at this. These sneakers are 45% off. That's one hell of a bargain. I'm going to buy that. And that could actually give you a really good consumer spending around the holidays. And if you have strong consumer spending around the holidays, it's going to be interesting to see how the market takes that. Because is that a sign that, oh, well, shit, inflation is still going to keep moving higher because the, the consumer is strong? Or is that a matter of, hey, the consumer is actually resilient and inflation by that point has already come down into like maybe the sixes or the sevens. And you can say like, wow, maybe maybe that soft landing actually starts to become a little bit more likely. The market might read it that way. So it's going to be really interesting what happens in the end of the year. Um, but I'll tell you this, if the Fed slows down, then I have no problem stamping my, my planting my flag in a Santa Claus rally. Because right now the markets expect at least 75 basis points in November, 50 basis points in December. That is the minimum expectation with the possibility of a 75 and another 75. If the Fed instead gives you 50 and 25, then yes, I'll plant my flag on a Santa Claus rally and the market moves higher the end of November into December and you finish the year actually with the markets moving to the upside, if that happens. But it all comes down to- I mean, I out. hope that happens because the, the level of- play that we're going to be able to get out of that as a company is going to be so obnoxious. It all rests on the 12 voting members of the Fed. Like the 12 days of Christmas. Yes. Honestly, I'm, I'm going to do a, a like a special video, like a like a parody on Scrooge, but with Jerome yeah. Powell. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I think that would be good. Um. Yeah, man. I uh, this is going to be an exciting week. It's going to be a very exciting week. What do you think the real the, the realistic thing this week? You think is seven point nine and seven point nine and kind of like a like a chop fest? No, I, I think seven point nine would uh, would be a good thing. A good thing? How? Because that means inflation would have come down by. No, I know, I know, no, I know. But seven point nine and the market moves up. Yes. Yes. And then you start to see that that bear market rally. Yes. Things are pretty oversold right now. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. But, you know, the sentiment is at peak pessimism. Sentiment is extremely negative right now in the market. Um, the markets are being, are, are being, you know, this 3,600 level on the S&P is being battle tested like, like a scene from Braveheart. I mean, it's unbelievable the battle that's going on at 3,600 on the S&P. Um, you know, it's for multiple, multiple days, we have been testing 3,600 on the S&P and we're still somehow holding above it. In, in, why? In why, why, do you, why do you think that is? Why do you think that's such a, uh, an important part or, or an important level? Like why, who's fighting that? I mean, people are buying at 3,600. The, the, the S&P is down 25%. You know, and and you have the listen. Thirty six hundred is going to be an amazing buy if the Fed slows down. And you have people that are just betting that the Fed is going to slow down, whether because of one of two reasons. The reason number one, the Fed slows down, is if um, is if inflation does crack and it does come down meaningfully. The Fed people think that would make the Fed slow down. The other reason why people think the Fed is going to slow down, which this is not the reason you want them to slow down. You'd much rather them slow down because inflation is, is coming down and, and it's working and they're winning. That would be the, that's the reason you want them to slow down. The other reason people think that they're going to slow down is because they think that they're going to break something. You know, liquidity is drying up in the credit markets and the Fed is paying attention to it. And, you know, the Fed is not, might not be able to continue quantitative tightening and selling, you know, different assets off of their balance sheet and taking liquidity out of the market at the same time that they're raising rates into a slowing economy. So people think that you might get cracks in the credit market and that's going to make the Fed have to stop. Otherwise, they're going to break the credit markets, but the Fed does not want that to happen. You know, yes, because then you have fine, then there's 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 bigger problems when you have cracks in the financial system. 
it's one thing to just slow down the economy. It's a whole nother for the credit markets to fail. And, and when credit markets fail, that's when you get your 40%, 50%, you know, declines in the stock market. Like 2008 went down 55, 56%, but that was mostly because the entire financial system, the entire banking system was on the brink of absolute collapse. So, I mean, that's like when credit markets and the financial system come under real distress, that's when equities go absolutely bonkers to the downside. And the Fed does not want that to happen because you can't break the, the stability and the function of financial markets. Part of the Fed's mandate is to maintain orderly market function. So they're going to be careful not to break that market function because if it does break, they're the ones that broke it. It's not a pop of mortgages or mortgage-backed securities and the systemic leveraged risk in the financial you don't think so, so, so you don't think that there's a universe that exists where Jerome Powell is saying to himself, it is more important to get inflation under control. And if that means breaking the credit markets, then that's what it is. No. So if you gave, so here's, if you have the Federal Reserve and they say, okay, Federal Reserve, would you rather have a recession or runaway inflation. Every single member of the Federal Reserve and every single one of you on this live stream should choose recession. Recessions are easily fixed. Runaway inflation is not. So you would, any Fed, they're not gonna tell you that, but any Fed member would rather have a mild recession that lasts two or three quarters than have inflation run completely out of control. Because then when inflation runs completely out of control, the only way to stop it is a deep, bad recession, which is what happened in the 80s. Nobody wants that. So they would rather have the recession. But if you said to the Fed, hey, Fed, would you rather break the financial system and destroy the functionality of credit markets or have inflation stay high? They do not, under any circumstance, want to break the functioning of credit markets and the functioning of the financial system. Yeah, but what if, but you, you, you're you're always saying that it's it's all like you don't know, you don't know if it's going to work until you know after that. There's a delay. There is a delay. That's why the Fed's job is so hard. Okay, so he could inadvertently break it. I mean, not on purpose. Yes, he could. Yes, they could inadvertently break something. Yes, and people that think the spy is going to go to three hundred, they think the Fed is going to break something. Where the Fed, the spy is not going to go to three hundred. In my opinion, unless something breaks, unless the Fed breaks something, you know, could we go to like 3,400, like 340? Yes, that's a much more realistic level given like, you know, if earnings are a complete debacle, if, if you know, the the jobs numbers are so strong, if inflation is, is staying. You know, flat, hang on, I mean, I don't know how anyone would have, would want or need, or have a good expectation of earnings on anything. If the whole idea here is that you need the economy to soften a bit, wouldn't you want to see earnings be a little bit light right now? Wouldn't that be a, a, a good thing? Because, well, that, that's the other thing too that I really hope that that the Federal Reserve is paying attention to. Pay attention to the warnings that companies like Nike, Microsoft, AMD, FedEx, GGE, Ford, Pay attention to the warnings that those companies are telling you. Those companies are telling you, we are seeing a change in the consumer. So we're going to warn you that the next quarter, the rest of the year, it's not going to go that well for us because we're seeing a slowdown. That is exactly what the Fed wants to have happen. They want people to stop spending so much damn money. You're hearing companies tell you that that's already happening. So that's why I'm saying if you get inflation this week, if it actually does come down, the Fed might look around and say, okay, you know what? Inflation's come down. Companies are warning that the consumer is shifting. And you also have liquidity concerns in the credit markets. Let's slow down. Things are, things are working in our favor. Things are working. Inflation's coming down. Let's slow down a little bit now and let's look around. And if that happens, markets go up. I hope you're right.
No, I, I don't know what the Fed's going to do, but if that happens, the market's going to go up. But those things have to happen. I don't know what the CPI number is going to be. You know, I can tell you, yeah, listen, I think it's going to be 7.9. I, I thought last month was going to be 7.9, 7.8. It came in at 8.3. You know, analysts thought it was going to be 8.0. It came in at 8.3. So I'm not going to sit here. This is what last night's live stream was all about. I'm not going to sit here and try to pretend like I know what these numbers are going to be. Instead, I'm going to react to those numbers. I'm going to understand and have a game plan. No, for if sure. Number, yeah. If the number is this, then I'm going to do that. If the number is this, I'm going to do that instead because I'm going to understand how the market's going to digest that piece of information. And that is how we're going to make money. All right. It's going to be an interesting week. Yes, it is. I think it's going to be, um, I mean, 7.8. That would, in your opinion, be very, very good. 7.8 would be fantastic. What would be good? Like, just like, okay, this is good. This is not going to affect the 75 in November, but it's not going to make it any worse. 8.0, 8.1. Okay. 8.1 will be good, is what you're saying. Well, I'm asking what's going to be good. Listen, I, I, I would say anything over like 8.3 or up makes the markets go down. I'd say like, I don't know, 8.0 to 8.2 make the markets. Aren't we at 8.3 right now? Yeah. But that was last month was 8.3. If this month is 8.3 again, that's bad. Okay. That means inflation is not coming down. You want to keep seeing inflation come down, but if it only comes down by one or two tenths a month, that's not enough. Yeah, but I don't, do you really, do you think there's been enough time? Yeah, man. I mean, look at July, look at June into July. You went from 9.1 to 8.5 from, from June to July. That's 60 basis points. That's six tenths of a point that you went down. Is that a lot for this? Or? Yes. Yes. Like, okay, put it this way. If if the number, if we got 7.7 .7 on Thursday, this market's ripping to the upside. If you get another, if you got 60 basis points drop, because it was 8.3 last month. So if you got 7.7, .7, the market's going to the upside. But it's still going to go to the upside, you think, even if it's 7.8. Yeah, 7.7, 7.8. I think that would be seen as like a meaningful decline in inflation. But now you're but now you're talking about so it's like here's here's the way you have to look at it, right? The headline number is important, but there's also the core number that's important. And the month over month number versus the year over year number. The month over month number is more important than the year over year number. So month over month core inflation is probably the most important number that the Fed looks at. The CPI number headline year over year is the big number that the rest of the market really looks at. But the Fed focuses on month over month core. Month over month core is literally how much have prices gone up or down from last month for everything that consumers buy minus food and energy. Forget about food and energy. The Fed can't control food and energy prices. But rent, the price of real estate, uh, the price of cars, the price of health care. Okay, those things. How much have those prices gone up or down from last month to this month? You can have a situation where, let's say, the headline number is, you know, 8.0, right? But maybe food or gasoline prices actually bumped higher a little bit, but the core, the core number is negative 0.1. That's going to be a good thing, and that will probably see the markets move to the upside. So if you have a headline number that comes in way under expectations, markets move to the upside. If the headline number comes in slightly under the expectation or even with it, then the market's going to focus on the core number month over month. And if that number comes in under, you can still have the markets move higher, even though the headline number wasn't that great. If the headline number wasn't that great because of something, let's say, like food and energy. I guess, I mean, me personally... I don't really care what the market 
looks is looking at this week. I care what the Fed is looking at this week, because the name of the game here is is trying to see where we're going to be in November, right? I mean, everyone wants to know what that what that basis point hike is going to be in November. Yeah. So. Well, right um, now the market is pricing in seventy five basis points. The market's expecting seventy five. Already. Already. There's a 92% likelihood of a 75% rate hike. So if inflation yeah. comes in light, all that's going to happen is, so if 92% is 75, 8%, 50. If you get, let's say a 7.7, .7, right? Just throw it out there. You get a 7.7 .7 or 7.8 number. What'll start to happen is the 75 basis point probability of 92% will probably come all the way down to like 60%. And the likelihood of a 50 basis point hike will come all the way up to 40%. And the markets will move higher when that happens. The market will move higher if the Fed slows down. So right, but the Fed, you don't know if the Fed is going to slow down. You're just what? guessing at that point. What? You don't know if the Fed's going to slow down if it comes out. Yeah, no shit. I, I, nobody knows what the Fed is going to do. No, I know. I, I know. I get that. That's where the likelihood, that's that's why those numbers, I'm telling you, the percentages that I'm giving you, that's why those numbers are so important. Because the markets will price in the expectation based on those numbers. Do you think it's finished pricing in a 75-point basis hike in November? Yeah, or I think right still, here. Or is it still pricing it in? No, I think right here, I think right here, the 75 basis point hike is priced in. What's not priced in is the severity of earnings revisions. Got it. So if the markets moved lower from here, it's because earnings revisions are a lot worse than originally expected. But right now, the 75 point rate hike, it's expected. I mean, are people holding on hope? For earnings right now i mean it's it's gonna not be good they haven't been good so far yeah i mean it's not, gonna, it's not gonna be good no it's not gonna be good but it doesn't have to be good it just doesn't, doesn't have to be as bad as people think how bad do people think the expectations for earnings are pretty crappy okay so there's an element of that that's priced in as well at this point yeah yeah okay i'm just trying to figure out for me i'm trying to say okay so, what, so listen, so that's what, what happened is in at this point. I'll give you an example. So that's what happened in June. If you guys look at my charts right here in June. Okay. Everybody was expecting earnings to be horrific. And they were expecting the Fed to be extremely hawkish. When you got your, your July, your June and July earnings season, earnings were not as bad as people thought they were going to be. And the market started to move higher. Then the Fed was not as hawkish as everyone thought they were going to be. And the market continued to move higher. That's the reason why the market moved higher here in July and August, because earnings were not as bad as people thought. And the Fed was not as hawkish as people thought. The exact same reasons would could cause the markets to move higher again into the, you know, into, you know, the next couple of weeks or the next month or so or into the end of the year, if earners are not as bad as people think they're going to be. And if the Fed is not as hawkish as people think they're going to be. So if earnings are not as bad as you thought, and if the Fed gives you 50 basis points instead of 75, then the exact same reasons why the market went higher in July and August would then be the exact same reasons why the markets would move higher in November and December. But the likelihood, you're a lot deeper into the, the, the economic slowdown now. You're talking about June and July. Well, now you've had three and a half months since that happened. A lot has changed in those three and a half months. The likelihood of earnings being worse now is much higher than they were back in June and July. But the same the same sentiment still applies of, hey, is it as bad as people thought? Yes. OK, when well, the markets probably trade down to 3,400. If it's not as bad as people thought, I think you bounce back to 3,900. Very, very tradable moves that we as traders and members of True Trading Group are going to be all over. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, just trying to figure out where it's all priced in. Or what is all priced in at this point. The 75 rate hike is priced in. Um, but you don't think earnings is as priced in as the 75 basis point rate hike? No, I think earnings, because the earnings are the unknown, there's already the 92% likelihood of, so that basically means that it's priced in. When, when the expectation is that high, that basically means it's priced in. So I think, I think it's the earnings element. Like if the markets trade down lower over the next three to four weeks, it's probably because earnings were worse than expected. Not because the Fed gave you 75. Everyone expects them to give you 75. Do institutions pressure the Fed to increase more uh, or no, to no. decrease? No. No. Okay. But you will have people that will make specific comments knowing that the Fed is listening, like Jamie Dimon. You know, people... But did, did Jamie Dimon, I guess I saw people in chat say today, oh, we said that we're going to go into a deep, deep recession in the next, um, you know, whatever. That's not what he said. What, he said. It's what did he say? Here. Okay, what did he say? Well, he said that the U.S. will have a recession within the next six to nine months, which I agree with. Um, but he said that... The, 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 the clip that everybody is pulling is where he said the market could easily go down another 20% from here. But the part of the clip that everyone is leaving out is in the same sentence, he said, but a soft landing is still possible. <laughs> so he, he said, yeah, we can easily go down another 20% or a soft landing is actually still possible. I haven't, I haven't thrown out the possibility of a soft landing. He's basically just saying that the, the markets are, are, are at an inflection point, you know, and, and there's a lot of different of, of different range of possibilities and outcomes based on what the Fed does. And and I think the point of his his comments and his, you know, what he said, he knows the Fed is listening. When Jamie Dimon speaks, people freaking pay attention. Everybody hears when Jamie Dimon speaks. Right. He's he's the head of the largest you know investment bank in the world. So, I mean, he, he, li you know, he speaks, people listen, you know? So I, I think the point of him saying that is, as he said, if the fed breaks something, yeah, you could easily go down another 20%. And that was him telling the fed, Hey, don't break anything. <laughs> like, you know, uh, is, is really, is really what I think that, that his comments were, but he, he said, he said both things. He literally was talking out of both sides of his mouth saying, listen, I think we're going to have a recession in the next six to nine months. Um, but he said, that, you know, we can go down 20% more or we can pull off a soft landing and, 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 and everything could, could be fine. You know, he gave you both complete extreme ends of the spectrum going down another 20% from here is the absolute bearish extreme case. Okay. Where does that bring us to another 20% from here? Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I think that probably takes you down to like the, like 300 if I'm not. 290. Yeah, 290 would be 20. At that point, something's got to break, like you said. That's what he's saying. He, you know, to, to take you down another 20%, you probably had something in the credit markets break. Does anyone take, does anyone kind of step in at that point and say, Jerome, you're fucking benched, buddy? Like, does well, 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 they would. They, they, they would. The Fed, if the Fed broke the credit markets, they would have to fix it. And they, how do they fix it? By providing liquidity. They would then step right back in and they would start to buy all the bonds or the mortgage-backed securities that they've been selling this entire time. They would step back in so and they would stop just selling a giant, them. Just a giant circle jerk. And they would start buying them again. Yes. And that's how they would fix That's how they would fix the credit markets. And then we would, would we be right back in the same position we're in now? <laughs> um, probably not because at that point, inflation probably comes down. Because at that point, you know, if, if that happened, then you would have, you know, um, a more hefty recession. And then, you know, consumer demand would, would slow enough to where inflation would come down meaningfully. Um, but 
GDP growth would also come down meaningfully and it would be negative. So you would be in a you would be in a real recession at that point and the Fed would do quantitative easing. They would then once inflation comes down, they would bring interest rates back down to spark growth. And then you would come out of the recession, which is exactly what happened, what happens after every single recession that you've ever had. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, Jerome Powell, if you ever watch the True Trading Group live stream, I'm sure it's, I hope you know what you're doing. <laughs> it's a fun time we live in, boy. It is a fun, exciting time. These are unprecedented times, literally. I don't just say that. You know, I don't just say that just for fun. This really is a completely and utterly unprecedented. It really is. I just can't get over how strong the I mean those jobs numbers were. Yeah. Well, we're gonna get more numbers on Thursday. Initial and continuing jobless claims. I just don't understand how unemployment went down. That that's that's the part I just can't get. Continuing and initial jobless claims went up last week. Labor participation went down, but unemployment went down. I don't understand how that combination of things makes sense. Math. None, none of it makes sense anymore, dude. Yeah. And you know what? It, it doesn't have to. No, it doesn't because the numbers are what the numbers are and you got to have a game plan based on, on, yeah. on, on those things. And and that's what we're doing here in TTG. That's what we're getting our team and our members ready for. Um, it's going to be one hell of a ride and I'm, I'm very excited. You're going to definitely, you're going to, you're going to definitely have an opportunity to make a lot of money right now. It's one oh, of those things okay. where it's like, you know, if you know what you're doing, you're about you're about to come into some money. Oh man, absolutely! It happens every time. It happens every time. You know, it's the, there's a reason why every single time the stock market crashes, all that happens is just rich people get richer. It's all that happens. Yeah, Inexper inexperienced people that are not wealthy. They, they panic, they get scared, they don't know what's happening. They sell everything when the markets have already crashed. And the people that are that have tons of money already and don't need any more, they're the ones that start buying everything because they know it's a deal. You know, they know it's, a, they know it's an investment opportunity of a lifetime. There, there have been a handful of investment of like, you know, long-term wealth building opportunities. And the greatest long-term wealth building opportunities of recent history was 2020. Yo, that gives me nightmares. Yeah, 2020, 2008, to the early 2000s, and then the 1980s crash. Like those, those, all those instances in history, that's when wealth, when real wealth is built. The people that are able to think clearly with a clear mind made it, it just an astronomical amount of money. You make your money in a bear market. You just don't realize it at the time. But when when you have when you have prices of, of stocks go down, you know, when the, when the stock market goes down 30, 40, 50 percent, that's when wealth is generated. It's the people that have the wherewithal to say, wow, OK, the S&P is down how much? Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure in two to three years from now, the market's going to be significantly higher than where it is. And they step in and they buy everything they can get their hands on. And then they're in two to three years, they're up money. And then in five years and seven years, and then in eight years, they have more money than they ever could have possibly dreamed. And that's what happens every single time the stock markets crash, literally every single time. But a lot of people don't, they get scared. I get it. They get scared, which is why we try to, you know, educate people to just think with a clear head, you leave the emotions at the door. There's no room for emotions in this game. You need to learn how to play this game. You want to make money in the markets for the long haul, you need to learn how to play this game because it's played a very specific way. Whether you like it or not, it's the rules of the game. A lot of people get very upset when they figure out what those rules of the game are. But you're not supposed to make money when this stuff happens. Historically, when stock markets crash, it's literally, I'll show you exactly what happens. Okay, I'll show you exactly what happens. When stock markets crash, here's what happens. The best of the professionals, they sell first. The rest of the professionals, they sell second. And then it's retail that sells last. And then who buys first? Who buys first? Well, I'll show you for that. I'll just go back to, I'll go over to 
I'll go to 2008 for that one and 2009, right? I'll show you how, how, how then things work on the way, on the way back up, on the way back up. I'll show you the best of the professionals buy first. Okay. The best of your professionals will buy first. That'll take place in here. Then the rest of your professionals buy second. And then you want to know who comes in and buys last retail and retail comes in and buys last. Not until you go back to your all time highs. Cause then you hear, Oh wow, the stock market's at all time highs. It must be a good time to invest. But that's what happens in every single stock market crash, every single one. So it's here. The best of the professionals sell first. I'll go back and I'll, I'll do, I'll use the crash of, of 2008 for this example. The best professionals sell first, the rest of the professionals sell second, and then retail sells last. Happens over and over and over and over and over again until the end of time. And that is why the rich get richer and the poor get poor because they keep making the wrong decisions every time when wealth building opportunities come knocking on their door. Don't sit there and pray for all of these things. And then when that opportunity actually comes knocking on your door, ignore it. Uh, oh, hey, Derek, someone told me you might have your lifetime spot ready for you today. Derek, someone told me you might have your lifetime spot ready today. All right, guys. So that just about kind of wraps up um, things there for the live stream. Hope you guys enjoyed that here today. Tomorrow night's going to be cool. I would actually, you know what I'm going to try and do tomorrow? I'm going to try and get a performance uh, psychologist on with us tomorrow night. That'd be cool. Would you guys like that? Is that something you guys would want? Let me know if that's something you think I should do. I'm thinking about seeing if I can bring on a performance psychologist on the stream tomorrow night. And then maybe we can bring on a handful of members, right? And then those members can ask real questions about it live. That's cool. I like that. I think that would be a really cool idea. Co 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 co. Dennis M says, "All we need is Mike." Ah, thank Aww. you. Thank you. Thank you, Dennis. Aw. You're still not his favorite. I am. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Anyways, no, you don't want to hear from Michael Berry. I don't want to hear from him, and I don't. I don't want to hear from the, the other person anymore. Michael Saylor, Michael Berry, and Michael Saylor. I don't care if they never speak again. Honestly, that's that's harsh. Sorry, bro. I, that's where I'm at. I want to listen to, you know, doom and gloom, and I don't want to listen to delusion. <laughs> All right, guys. How many people do we have on the live streams? Adam, where'd you go? How many people do we have on the live stream still that are not members of True Trading Group, guys? If you're not a member, do me a favor. Just type the letters TTG inside of the chat. If you're not a member, just type the letters TTG inside of the chat. I just want to see how many people we have here that are not members of True Trading Group. We got about a thousand people that are still on the live. Just do me a favor and type TTG if you are not a member of True Trading Group. Let's see, we got Jesus Tejada, Kurt Mariano, Aaron Bass, Jay Toggs, Gilly. Adon Aguilar. Ah, oh, uh, Johnny, what's up? <laughs> That's awesome. All right, guys, cool. So a lot of non-members that are with us here today. Excellent, guys. So I want to make sure that all of you non-members, um, I want to make sure you all do understand that tonight, you have until midnight tonight to get the $1,100 price point. That's a 50% discount. 
And anyone that joins during this live stream, okay, if you join during this live stream, you will get a free 30 minute one on one with one of the pro traders at your trading group with your membership. But that is only if you join during this live stream. Once I am finished, that offer is no more. And then you have um, until Tuesday at midnight, excuse me, for the $1,100 price point. That is a 50% discount. You just have to go to ttgoffer.com, enter the code TTG121, click apply code. The price will then drop to $1,100. Check out, and then you guys are good to go. If you are not interested in a membership at all, you can sign off the live stream because I'm done with the educational stuff. Just make sure you subscribe to the channel first, smash the like button, turn on your notifications. Let's get those likes up. Show us some love. Show me, appreciate uh, me coming on here, giving you guys these free lessons to prepare you for what is to come. But if you are interested, what I'll do now is I'll actually show you the TG platform so you can see all the courses and the tools, everything you're going to get access to for the 1100 bucks. Because remember, the 1100 bucks is on price for the whole year. And you get access to all the courses and all the tools and you have the double your money back guarantee guys don't forget that i don't think you need it but the double your money back guarantee works as follows you have 12 months the whole year go through our courses pass our quizzes attend one study group if you can't make the 1100 membership fee back at least once during your membership i'll give you 2200 that's the deal i'll give you double your money back that's a 100 return on your investment I don't think you're going to need it. We've only had to refund 2.6% of our users since 2016. And we have a retention rate of people that are renewing their membership of 78%. We're also five-star rated on Trustpilot with over 1,750 reviews. So based on what members tell us, the reviews they leave, based on that retention rate, based on that refund rate, I can confidently say that this has worked for thousands of people. And that's why I'm willing to offer you double your money back. That's for those people that join here today on this live stream. You guys could, um, or I'll just join here in general. You guys get that double your money back guarantee. But again, I don't think you're going to need it. So let me show you the actual platform so you guys can see everything you're getting. The chat room where the mods and I share our screen with you. You see what we see. We're live on the mic calling out our trades in real time. Um, telling you what we're getting in, what we're selling, what we're buying. Before we even do it, the market, uh, the chat room opens at 7.30 a.m. Eastern, stays open until after the market close. Every day, markets are open. We're with you all day. We're not gone after two hours and you'll have to fend for yourself. We're with you the entire day. You also get to use our mobile app. So if you can't be in front of your computer, that's how so many of our members that work full-time jobs are able to benefit from the platform because the mobile app lets them see the screen share, listen to the audio analysis, and get the real-time push notifications whenever the moderators enter or exit a trade. And that's how they're able to benefit while working full-time jobs and being not in front of their computer. You also going to get two private study group sessions with the pro trader so you guys can ask questions and speed up that learning curve, get you started on the right path. You're going to get Benzinga Pro's real-time news feed. This news feed alone would cost you over $1,000 if you went to Benzinga directly. We've spent years building relationships with Benzinga as well as a bunch of other companies I'm about to show you to offer their products on our platform without having to charge you a dollar extra. So when you join TTG for $1,100, this is included in that $1,100. You do not have to pay anything extra for it. You also get TradingView's premium charting software. That's about 600 bucks a year included with your membership when you join TTG. The Trade Ideas Scanner. Industry standard scanner, make sure you're focused on the hottest stocks during the day. A few hundred bucks a year, free, included with that $1,100 when you guys join the TG membership. It is included in the $1,100. A simulator from ETNA lets you trade stocks and options with fake money while you practice implementing what you're learning. This will cost you just under 1000 bucks if you go to ETNA directly, included with your $1,100 membership fee. This is what I mean by the platform brings you value not just in the educational aspect, not just in the community aspect, but in the tools and resources, this stuff would cost you about five grand if you went and purchased it on your own. That's a lot of money for someone that's trying to get started and make money in this market. So we spent the time to get this stuff on our platform without you having to pay for it. You also get our own proprietary scanner that lets you create your own custom scans. You get dark pool data, options flow, unusual options activity. Again, that costs you hundreds of dollars. Nope, not anymore not on the TC platform, it's included for that 1100. You get a trading journal that tracks all of your trades, breaks it down into statistics and numbers. So you can see exactly kind of your trading based on the numbers. So you can see where you need to make some changes and adjustments. You also get a social sentiment scanner that goes through Reddit, stock tweets and Twitter, tells you what ticker symbols are being mentioned most on those platforms. So you guys can always make sure you stay ahead of the crowd. You get analyst ratings on any stock that you're interested in. This is going to be so you can see how many analysts have a buy, sell, or hold rating. 
insider selling, insider buying, short data, it's all included. Every day we publish watch lists, the moderators and I, the stocks we're looking at and how we plan on trading them. And then the courses, the courses are a simplified yet expanded upon version of what I learned that I worked at the fund in New York. When I worked at the fund, I had to go through a three month training program before they let me touch $1 of their money. And this is a simplified and expanded upon version of that. So you're going to get that quality, that professional quality of education by going through the courses. There's beginner courses, advanced courses, options, swing trading, trader psychology, crypto futures, you name it. We've got it. It's all included. There's no VIP courses that cost more money after you join. They're all included. No upsells for this stuff. You also get a video library with over 300 hours of workshops and webinars, like how to grow a small account, how to trade while working a full-time job, how to re resist FOMO, just to name a few. And you can attend these workshops live. We do these workshops every week. You can attend them live once you become a full-time member. It's time you guys invested in something real, guys, something that has the ability to help you reach your goals. That's why I can't guarantee you're going to be successful just because you joined True Training Group. But I can guarantee you that if you spend the 1100 bucks right now, get a spot, get in here, join the group, and you fail to make that membership fee back at least once after going through our courses, passing the quizzes and attending the study group, I'll give you double your money back. I'll give you 2,200 bucks back. That's the deal. I can offer you that without breaking a bead of sweat. I can offer that to you happily because we've only had to refund 2.6% of our users. You just have to go to ttgoffer.com, type in that coupon code, TTG121, click apply code. That price will drop to 1100 You have till Tuesday at midnight to get the $1,100 price point before the price goes back to 1250 and then eventually back to the 2200 regular price of the TTG platform. And don't forget, if you guys sign up here now, you get that free 30-minute one-on-one if you guys sign up here on this live stream. Welcome to all of our TG uh, fam, our new members. We had a lot of people just join on this live stream. We also have a seven day trial for those that are interested. Guys, take advantage of the trial. I mean, there's ever been a week. I mean, man, you guys wanna make sure you're not trying to trade through this on your own. Go to ttgthree.com. That's ttg3.com spelt out. It's only $3. We charge $3 just to make sure that you're a real person, okay? There's no automatic renewal. There's no automatic upgrade. There's no reoccurring payment. It's just a one-time payment of $3. It's seven full trading days. Weekends do not count against your, your seven days. It's a full seven trading days. You just have to go to TTG3. Oh, well, I'm wearing the same hoodie. <laughs> you got to go to TTG3.com, and that's how you guys can join our seven-day trial. Okay? That's it, folks. Otherwise, go to TTGauthor.com right now and grab that 50% discount before it is too late. TTG121 coupon code. Take advantage of it. I'll see you guys all in chat tomorrow. Um, we're going to do some lessons on trader psychology. Tomorrow's live stream is going to be a good one. So set your reminders. Subscribe to the channel now. Smash that like button. I'll see you guys all in chat tomorrow. Have a great night, everybody. Take care.